I like to think about this work as courage work. So courage means um, from the heart. At the core of what we do is trust and support trans leadership. Part of that is to resource the dreams and the visions of our community in whatever form that looks like. My name is Swai. I was born Phat Minh Quang, which means wise leader in Vietnamese. I'm the daughter of Vietnamese refugees, people who survived war and famine and voyages across the ocean. I am a storyteller. Stories are how we understand our world and how we understand ourselves. Part of my work is telling the kinds of stories that expand all of our imagination so that we can understand the true divinity and wisdom of trans people. Our dreams can become our reality when we invite each other to envision and create together. Every time I leave from that work, um, one, I'm thankful. Um, two, you know, I'm inspired. Um, I just leave, I leave with a sense of peace and happiness. Um, when I look at that map of all the cities and states and territories that we have dispersed money to, to help people that look like me, who 30 years ago, I didn't have that. You know what I'm saying? Um, I had to struggle and, you know, to see us taking care of our own is an amazing thing. You know, we're changing this sort of scarcity model of fighting for one slice of the pie and really thinking about how we can support each other and lift each other up. Building a world where folks feel fully safe, fully themselves, fully able to um, build um, systems of care that they need, um, that we need. One of my first interactions with TJFP was when I was organizing um, groups doing prison visitations with trans folks in California. And at the time, we didn't have very much money at all to do those visitations, but because of TJFP providing financial resources, we were able to pay for transportation, for meals, for more people to go inside of prisons to support trans folks on the inside. I think the Trans Justice Funding Project is Trans brilliance, trans creativity is helping us dream bigger and giving us the materials that we need to build our own table, to feed ourselves, and to feed each other so that we can be nourished and full and figure out what's next to them. My grandmother, um, Ms. Dolores Winston, um, I bring her to the altar because of her love of people, um, her love of me, and how she encouraged me to be the very best that I could be. She also instilled in me, you know, just a love for people and acceptance of everyone. When I talk about abundance or think about abundance, you know, I, I, I think about her and what she contributed in my life and the overwhelming love that she instilled in me for people and for my community. And that's really why I do the work, because of her love this basket full of healing and protection. So I have in here items like the cedar that protects. I have items that, um, like my corn pollen pouch that I do my prayers and my blessings with when I go to events or functions. And also having my eagle feathers and my hawk feathers and also sage for cleansing. So I offer this, um, this basket of healing and protection. Blessings to everyone. There are very few things we can do to go back to who we are. I come from an ocean people. I'm Philippine, Filipinx, and this came from my homeland. I offer this oyster shell to all of us. I've been a Native Hawaiian translator here in Hawaii since 2003. I use this in spaces, especially in Native Hawaiian spaces, where we blow the horn and we notify people, we notify our ancestors, we call to the land, we call to the people across the ocean and connect us all. So I use this pool and I offer the sounds of my pool out to our altar space to honor our ancestors and also to connect all of our people across the land 
across the Pacific, across the Atlantic, um, across all the oceans, and making sure we have space and we know that together our voice is louder. There's nothing more powerful than, you know, folks in the community who are deeply impacted by the issues, being able to be part of resourcing the work. It's really the beginning of a dream. It's modeling the world that we should have always lived in. It's giving trans people the resources to really actualize their creativity and manifest the beautiful realities that we dream of every day. I hope you feel honored. I hope you feel remembered. I hope you feel appreciated. Thank you for all that you give.